What's going on everybody? Welcome to the best damn crazy archaeologist guide ever. In this guide, we're going to be checking out everything you need to know about killing the crazy archaeologist. We're going to talk about hard requirements, suggested requirements, the location and how to get there, gear setups, and how to fight the boss. So without further ado, let's get started. Suggested requirements. Normally we start out with hard requirements, but as this demi boss is located in the wilderness, there actually are no hard requirements to fight this boss. So we're going to jump into suggested requirements. First up, I'm going to suggest that you have a minimum magic level of at least level 75, and this will allow you to use any of the trident styled weapons out there. The trident styled weapons do attack one tick faster than your standard spells if you are not using a harmonized nightmare staff which is incredibly expensive so easy to see why not everyone has one of those. As for your next suggested requirement I'm going to suggest that you have a minimum of at least level 40 prayer and this will be for the protect from missiles prayer. The crazy archaeologist does use a ranged attack which you will need to pray from in order to take minimal damage. Location and how to get there. There are a few different ways to get to the Crazy Archaeologist. We'll start out with the most simple way, and this is going to be the Dariac Teleport. You can buy an ancient teleport tablet for this if you don't have the required level 78 magic to cast the spell, or alternatively, you could just cast the spell. Our next method is going to be the Cemetery Teleport, which you can also buy a tablet for. This is on the Archaeus Spellbook. Level 71 magic required for that one. The easiest way is the tablet. Next up is going to be the level 27 Wilderness Obelisk. I only suggest using this if you do have the hard diaries done for the wilderness, that way you can direct the portal anywhere you want to go. As for the last method, it is going to be the burning amulet to the bandit camp, and that one you can also use, but it is quite a bit of a run. Since anyone has access to the Dariok teleport, that is going to be your best way to get there. Suggested Gear Setups Starting the gear setups out, we're going to check out our low tier setup, and this is the minimum I would recommend that you take to the crazy archaeologist in the helmet slot. We have a mystic hat. Your cape is going to be an, a Ceridum and God cape, but the Zamorak and Gothics can also work. Doesn't matter which one. Amulet of Glory, Unholy Blessing, or whichever blessing that you do have. Trident of the Seas is going to be your weapon. Monk's Robe top and bottom. Book of Darkness in your shield slot, Rune Gloves, Mystic Boots, and an Imbued Ring of Wealth. If you didn't know, the Imbued Ring of Wealth does give you double the chances of receiving a clue in the Wilderness. So very easy to obtain setup to start out at the Crazy Archaeologist. In the inventory, I have 10 Prayer Potions, 1 Stamina Potion in case you do encounter any PKers, you can run away from them. The Dariok Teleport is to get out there to start the trip. 14 Manta Rays, but you can use pretty much any kind of food that you want. Looting bag to make sure you can pick up all your drops and a royal seed pod to get out. Now, if you don't have the royal seed pod, you can alternatively use your amulet of glory to teleport out beyond level 20 wilderness. You will be below level 30 wilderness, so the amulet of glory teleport will always work, assuming you are not teleblocked. Next up is our medium tier setup, and in the helmet slot for this one, I have a Guthix Miter, but once again, all of the gods have their own miter, so any one will work. You want to maximize your prayer bonus here because you want to try to extend your trips as much as possible. In the cape slot, we have an imbued Ceridoma God Cape, but any of the other imbued capes will also work. We have bumped up to an occult necklace here for the additional magic DPS. They're not very expensive, so it's a good spot for the medium tier setup. Once again, the Unholy Blessing, but for the medium tiers, some of you may have the Karend Kebos Elite Diaries done, so you can replace that with the Rada's Blessing 4 if you have it. Toxic Trident, or the Trident of the Swamp, is going to be your weapon for this one. Gives you a little bit more DPS. Monk's Robe top and bottom, once again, Book of Darkness. Barrow's Gloves in the Glove Slot this time, Mystic Boots, and a Ring of Wealth imbued. As for the inventory, once again, 10 Prayer Potions, 1 Stamina Potion, Dariok Teleport to get out there. 14 Manta Rays, Looting Bag, and the Royal Seed Pod to get out to one-click teleport out below level 30 Wilderness. And the last setup we'll check out is my personal setup and the high-tier setup for the Crazy Archaeologist. Guthix Miter, Imbued Ceridoma God Cape, Occult Necklace. For this one, I do have the Rada's Blessing 4 listed. Sanguinesti Staff is going to be my weapon of choice. Now, you could argue here that the Harmonized Nightmare Staff is the better choice, which it would be if you are using Fire Spells in a Tome of Fire but it's not easily obtainable for everybody, so I decided to just go with the Sanguinesti Staff. You probably will take a little bit of damage here if you're not paying attention, so the Sanguinesti Staff's passive of healing you upon hit, it can be helpful out here. Monk's Robe top and bottom, Book of Darkness. In the hand slot, we have the Tormented Bracelet this time for the additional magic damage. 
Mystic Boots in an Explorer's Ring 4. The Explorer's Ring will give you plus one to prayer, so give you a little bit more prayer longevity. Now, as for this setup, your protected items will be your Imbued God Cape, the Occult Necklace, the Sanguinesti Staff, and the Tormented Bracelet, assuming you have Protect Item on. If you do not, you will lose that Imbued Cape. Over in the inventory, remains the same again. 10 Prayer Potion, Stamina Potion, Dariok Teleport, 14 Manta Rays, Looting Bag, and a Royal Seed Pod for the Teleport Out. Boss Room Layout. Checking out our boss room layout, this is the area you will see. Now the crazy archaeologist is in the wilderness, so it doesn't actually have a boss room. But this is what you will encounter once you get out there. It is located in the ruins in the western wilderness. The yellow tile that you can see marked there is actually the crazy archaeologist spawn point. So the crazy archaeologist does respawn after 30 seconds of being killed. So you want to mark that tile just so you can make sure you know where he's going to pop up. As for that, nothing else to really note here. You will be standing on that wall that does have the yellow tile marked. So all among, along that wall is where you will be fighting the crazy archaeologist, which we will check out in the kill clips. Mechanics and attacks. For the crazy archaeologist's mechanics and attacks, the basic attacks, the crazy archaeologist does use melee and range, but since we are maging, he will always use ranged against you, so we don't have to worry about the melee basic attack unless you are standing right next to him. You will just want to protect from range the entire time you are fighting the crazy archaeologist and just stay out of his melee distance. The Crazy Archaeologist does have one special attack, and it is going to be very noticeable. The Crazy Archaeologist will say Reign of Knowledge. When you see Reign of Knowledge above the Crazy Archaeologist, you will want to begin moving out of the way. He will throw a few books at you, which will explode and deal splash damage to all adjacent tiles as to where they land. After the first explosion, it will split into three smaller books, which will then again deal splash damage to any adjacent tile from which they land. All you have to do is move a few steps out of the way. For me, I prefer to take about two or three tiles towards the crazy archaeologist to avoid the damage and then just run back to my starting point and watch out for the next special attack. Example fights and kills. All right, so we're going to start this kill off very easy to do. So protect from range is on and he's just going to start ranging me. I'm literally just going to stand here and mage till I see that. When I see that, I just want to take a couple steps forward and then I can return back to my starting point. Now that is the special attack we talked about in the mechanics section. Like I said, it does do splash damage to so just make sure you get out of the way of it. And there it is again. I'm going to move forward, attack once and twice, and then I'm going to head back to my starting spot. Now you don't actually have to go back to the starting spot like that. You could actually just stay where you are and then on the next reign of knowledge, move back to the starting spot. It just makes me personally a little more comfortable. And that's the kill. That is as easy as it gets. That is a crazy archaeologist kill. Now, while I'm letting another kill play out here, I just want to mention that the crazy archaeologist does have a 30 second respawn timer. So you can utilize the world hopping method, to find another world and kill another crazy archaeologist while you wait for this one to respawn. Now you can somewhere, you can achieve somewhere around 60 kills an hour by doing it that way. Maybe a little more depending on magic level and what kind of weapon that you are using. And additionally, if you didn't know and you're a new iron to old school runescape, the crazy archaeologist does drop rune crossbows, which are very nice to have on the iron account. So it's a very popular place for iron men to start out. Ending words. So that is going to do it for the best damn crazy archaeologist guide ever. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you're new to old school runescape and this is your first time checking out this demi boss, I hope that you have learned something and I hope that you are now effectively able to tackle this boss. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button on your way out. Remember to turn on the bell icon. It will let you know whenever I upload new content. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.